it is day two aboard the Norwegian getaway and is today is a full day at sea. We are on our way to Bermuda, which we will arrive tomorrow, but today is a full sea day uh, aboard the Norwegian getaway. So this morning uh, we did get up and we hit the um, garden uh, cafe, I think it's called, which is the buffet aboard the cruise ship. And we had a little bit of breakfast. I'll insert some clips um, of what we got this morning for our breakfast. Um, it did come, we did wind up having some orange juice, some cranberry juice and coffee along with our meal. Um, I will say that my favorite part of the meal was the like hash brown patties. Those were absolutely delicious. Bacon was good. I did um, also get some French toast, which I didn't show. And that was actually pretty decent um, as well. Um, everything else was kind of meh. It was just typical buffet food, nothing to really write home about. Um, but it was it was decent. Um, after that, we did hit up the Spice H2O area, which is, I believe, 18 plus area. And they have a bar and a pool and hot tubs there and some lounge chairs to sit out. So we sat at the bar for a little bit and got a, a couple drinks. Um, we got a Blue Hawaiian, which is one of our favorites to drink. So if you've never tried it, um, give it a try. So we'll, we'll take you along for our day today. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but hopefully we'll, uh, you know, do some stuff today. And we also checked out the uh, arcade. So we're probably going to see if we can get an arcade card um, to play some arcade games later and probably hit up the casino later too. So stay tuned and let's go. Just put a duck here near the kids arcade for someone to find it. What do you got there, sir? Oh, blue Long Island ice tea. <laughs> Similar to Long Island, they just use the uh, blue, blue curacao instead of uh, Coca-Cola. It's yeah, delicious. It's delicious. So I just put 20 in, turned my 20 into 60 bucks. So I think we're a winner here and we're just gonna walk away. It's raining outside right now. It's so peaceful out here. It's about three o'clock. outside seating over there. There's Jack. Can't beat a view like this. It's beautiful. Just a vast, endless. Okay, so we're getting ready to head to dinner. We are going to teppanyaki. So we're doing the hibachi, which um, 
it's a specialty dining restaurant, but we um, have specialty dining as part of our package. So we are doing teppanyaki tonight. I got a little, little dressed up and a nice little outfit. Jack did not. Hey. So, but. I plead the one, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter because Norwegian is freestyle cruising, so you can dress whichever way you like to. So like it, it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we're at it to dinner right now and get some hibachi. I can't wait to have some steak and we'll take you along with us. Hey guys, just walking a mile down the hallway to get to the elevator. And I grabbed the camera for Misty because I will not be bullied. And she will not make fun of me for not dressing up for this dinner. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, we can ask for separate tables. <laughs> we can just stare each other down with each bite of food. <laughs> So we just got done dinner at Teppanyaki and I thought it was amazing. What are your thoughts? Uh, I, I thought it was great. Okay. Um, you know, as you know, we, we've, we've been to several uh, hibachi uh, places, restaurants um, near us. And whether it's just us or the kids, it's always a great time. This, I thought, was a little above what we're used to. Yeah. It was a very, a really fun experience from the beginning um, you know, to the end, they, they come out, they take your order as usual, but, um, there were a few things that really stuck out to me. Um, yeah, the chef was amazing. The chef was hilarious. Was super like, entertaining. You know, I thought like, that really the, entertaining. yeah, I thought the chef behind him yeah. was gonna, I was like, oh, we should have that chef. But then he came out of, you know, he just came out and just started cracking jokes. Mm -hmm. He was, he was hilarious. So he was great. Um, and they were both, they, there was like a big, like U shape and there was two chefs working different tables yeah, at the same and it time. Was and full, like, yeah, full tables and they were like in sync with each other. If somebody, if one of them was singing, like the other one just jumped in and helped out and like they were backing each other up. It, it was hilarious. It yeah, was it great. Was and the songs that they made, the jokes that they made, um, were great. I'm not going to give them away so that yeah. if you come on, <laughs> if you come on a cruise, like they're going to ask you some questions that seem obvious and you'll say the obvious answer and they're gonna throw something in your face <laughs> and bust your chops. So yeah. I don't wanna take that away from your experience, but I thought it was great. Um, the food was really good. Um, a couple notes that from me personally, um, I really, from the positive side first, I really loved how they saved a really you know, big chunk of uh, fried rice, because that's usually the first thing that they cook mm -hmm. they, with the eggs. They do the eggs, then they cook the fried rice, and they give everybody a portion. They cooked an extra really large portion of fried rice because they know that's what comes out first. And, um, you know, at the end, a after everything comes out, you start eating it, the, the, the meat, you know, the, the chicken, the, the shrimp, the, cal the scallops start coming out. Vegetables. Yeah. And you start to realize, oh man, I'm running, I'm running out of rice. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the steak, the most important parts of the, the, the entree starts coming out, the chicken and the steak and the shrimp and the, the seafood. And you start to think, oh, and I was in that position and, but they had this big, you know, chunk of rice available and they asked everybody else, this is for anybody who really, you know, kind of went hard on your rice and if you want more there's here for you and i, I love that that was great because i always run out of rice yeah. <laughs> you know how, how much i love rice so i thought it was awesome um my only critique was that you know it's it's basically new york strip um cut meat which i don't hate i love new york strip but when it comes to hibachi i love the whole uh, i love filet mignon when it comes to hibachi it's so tender so much more tender than the strip and but you know, I, I felt like the strip was really good still. Yeah, it was good. So, 
It just had a little more chew to it. Yeah, so. a little more chew. And but he cooked it perfectly because we got it medium rare. So yeah, a lot of the, everybody else at the table got it medium. Yeah, got it medium. Yep. And I think so. when we got it medium rare, it was like perfect. Mm -hmm. So that it had a little. Yeah, it was it was really better. good. Because I think if you get it to, cooked too much, then it's it's not gonna it's gonna be too chewy. Yeah. Exactly. So I would recommend maybe medium rare if you you like if you can handle a red or, mm -hmm. or steak. So. Yeah, totally agree. And the dessert was good. Uh, I got like the green tea cake, and it definitely has a strong green like green tea flavor to it. So if you don't like green tea, don't try that. And then he got like the fruit like sashimi. Yeah, like, sashimi. It was a really it was a nice fruit platter. It was refreshing after all that food. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was so when they brought it to me, I was so excited. I was like, ah. Oh. I can, nice uh, palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah, very nice palate cleanser. Like watermelon, uh, melon. Um, there was some passion fruit in there. Mm -hmm. It was it was just really good, really good platter. Yeah. So in all in all, I think teppanyaki is a definite must. Yeah, it's it's a really good. Yeah, if you're on the ship, it's it's entertaining. It's it's refreshing. It's just you know you, you have a lot of fun. We we met some cool people at the mm -hmm. table that you know were really cool. So you know, you know, I'd give it like you know on this ship like nine out of ten yeah. so far i know this is day two but like yeah and um, it's if you have the specialty dining package um it's completely included it was we didn't pay anything extra other than we tipped a little extra at the end but yeah because the chef was awesome yeah the chef so, was great. but we didn't pay anything extra it was part of you know the specialty dining package that we had purchased and um so it was wonderful yeah so i loved it yeah all right cool and that's uh, you're better at pronouncing it than I am. Teppanyaki. Teppanyaki. That's Teppanyaki. <laughs> <laughs> really great place. Would definitely recommend it. I'm yep. glad it was our first dinner because we've they set the bar high. What's what we got Bermuda tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So um, we're not sure what we're gonna do there um, yet. Um, we're trying to play it by ear because NCL has been having issues because it's wave season. Yeah. Um, so they've been canceling a lot of. Uh, of trips, you know, docking at uh, the Bermuda port. So we're hoping tonight, we're gonna have some sweet dreams and some sweet wishes <laughs> and hope that in the morning at 10 a.m. we will be in Bermuda at the port and we can get off the ship and, uh, you know, do some excur excursions, yeah. right? Yeah, so. that was one of the main reasons we're on this trip is because we wanted to go to Bermuda. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if we don't so. get to go, it'll be, it'll be a bummer, but it's to be, you gotta plan for those things because it is, Something yeah. that can happen, especially on a cruise. Exactly, yeah. You're not always guaranteed to get to the ports of call that are on the itinerary, but mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be there. Fingers crossed. Cool, yeah. So. And if we are, we will see you there and yeah. let you know what our experiences are. Uh, she wants a villa. <laughs> no, that's a great start. She me. wants a villa, no, and I want to go on a Bermuda Triangle <laughs> um uh, you know, excursion or like a, it's like a cruise where they kind of give you the history of like what's gone on. That, that's always fascinated me. So we'll see who wins that battle. Mm. I'm gonna lose. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> now, what'd you say? This sucks to be short.